Because of the global pandemic, film festivals around the world have either been delayed like Cannes or cancelled entirely. But the organizers of this year's Sarajevo Film Festival have come up with a way to meet their audience. The festival is being held entirely online. Anyone wanting to attend can log on to ondemand.sff.ba between August the 14th and August the 21st. There, they can access screenings and attend daily events virtually. Filmgoers will also be able to take part in online events, including exclusive masterclasses with filmmakers, actors and industry leaders from around the world. Now, the director of the Sarajevo Film Festival, Mirsad Purivatra, is here with me. Hi, Mirsad. Lovely to see you there. Hello, Elif. Uh, really great uh, to be at least virtually connected. <laughs> yes, yes. OK, so tell me how you came up with the idea of this format, because I remember you wanted to uh, you know, hold the event uh, physically just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's true, uh, because we had uh, several options. We followed uh, all the uh, situation with uh, COVID-19. And we had uh, several options, and uh, unfortunately, we came uh, to the worst case scenario because the uh, situation in Sarajevo was not very good in the last uh, two weeks. Uh, we had a very good situation in June with no cases, but now we, have, uh, we had uh, almost 100 cases per uh, day. And we decided it's too risky uh, to put uh, our guests, our audience situation to be affected by COVID and we decided to move everything to online, but offering the best what we can today, I think, in, uh, uh, in the world, uh, based on the high IT technologies and the great softwares. And uh, that's the way how we would like to uh, keep our audience linked with the great films from the region, from mm -hmm. the world, uh, to meet a lot of, of them on online uh, 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 talks. Mm -hmm. But you will also hold physical events, right? That's correct. Uh, uh, a situation in a beautiful town, Mostar, is uh, very, uh, let's say, positive. They uh, have a zero or maybe two, three cases per day. And the uh, epidemiological uh, 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 board in Mostar uh, gave approval that we could have uh, physical uh, uh, screenings. Practically, we will have on-site event uh, in city Mostar on the beautiful square. And uh, I'm very, very curious to see, and I think it's going to be one of the highlights of the festival, that audience in Mostar will have a chance to see at least part of our program. And we are very happy that some uh, uh, crews will go, uh, film crews will go to Mostar to uh, be together with the audience. And that's something what I consider as a real film festival. Okay, so Mostar, the screenings in Mostar, you say that it's uh, one highlight of the festival. Why don't you talk me through the other highlights? Yeah, we, we, as, we, as you already told, the audience will have a chance to follow our, our uh, online platform, uh, ondemand.sff.ba, where they will have a chance to see uh, live uh, uh, masterclasses uh, by great uh, uh, filmmakers as... Uh, Oscar awarded uh, uh, Michel Hazanavicius as uh, then uh, the best actress in Cannes, Berenice Bejo, the best actor in Cannes, uh, Mats Mikkelsen, then uh, fantastic Mexican director who will be this year in Venice with his new film, New Order. It's Michel Franco and many other. Then they will have a chance every day to watch a film from competitions. There is uh, also one TRT production, Mauser. I think it's going to be beautiful uh, seven, eight days of watching the films online. And we are encouraging all, peop all people to create their own homes, their gardens, uh, 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 to be together and to watch films together and create the uh, atmosphere of Sarajevo Film Festival in their homes. Okay, so Mirsad, I mean, the festival is just so important for Sarajevo, the city. Uh, it attracts around 10,000 tourists every year. And according to my notes here, 25 million euros in income. That is just so huge. This, I think, begs the question, are you worried about the future of the festival as it's not happening in this size this year? Absolutely, it's a quite big uh, damage for the whole town. And uh, we can see a lot of people who are very sad and who are 
in some way disappointed, uh, but I think it was only one rational uh, decision. With the hope that the uh, situation with COVID will be better uh, in the next year, we are expecting even to have a more lively festival than ever. Uh, if not, uh, we are looking for new options, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we will find the best way to be together with the audience, uh, hopefully in Sarajevo. If not in Sarajevo, I'm sure that it will be some places where we'll be able to uh, uh, hold the festival, to have our audience and to create such uh, atmosphere. Mm -hmm. But again, to be very honest, Sarajevo is a unique city, and we hope that uh, COVID-19 will go on until next August. Okay, and regarding other film festivals, I mean like Venice Film Festival, for example, which will be held in September physically, despite the health situation in Europe and Italy, do you feel like those festivals are risking too much? Oh, it's very, 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 very hard, uh, difficult question. I think that we have to find a way how to live with the COVID-19. I think that uh, to stop the life uh, is, is uh, impossible. I think we have to find the ways and uh, I appreciate very much the decision uh, by Mr. Alberto Barbera from Venice. We are very close friends and we discuss a lot uh, in the last period and uh, I support him. But it's definitely not a question uh, only about the festival organization. It's a question about uh, local society. It's a uh, question about infrastructure. It's a uh, question of the audience. I think that's mm. something what we walk uh, uh, very hardly and to convince people to respect all rules and then I think we will be able to win uh, COVID and have uh, festivals and all other cultural events uh, with audience. All right, Mirsad Puribatra, good luck this year and thank you so much for your contribution to Showcase today.